Alleluia, sing to Jesus, he is the scepter, he is the throne. Alleluia, he is the triumph, he is the victory alone. Hark the songs of peaceful Zion, thunder like a mighty flood. Jesus, out of every nation, has redeemed us by his blood. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate in these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are risen from the dead. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are returning in glory. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of God the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostle Barnabas, which translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. And he made the world firm not to be moved. Your throne stands firm of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king, robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So is it with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? 
Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, as we listen to our reading from the Acts of the Apostles, we once again to see how that early Christian community began to form. And what is really beautiful is they said the community of believers was of one heart and one mind. Sort of like they all were in agreement of how to live and how to proclaim the name of Jesus. And we hear again about the apostles, that with great power they bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, it wasn't too long ago when they locked themselves up in that upper room, and they were very much afraid. But then the Spirit came, the Holy Spirit came, and empowered them, and gave them that strength and that courage to go out into the world and bear witness to the resurrection of Jesus. And in the Gospel today, once again, Jesus is talking to Nicodemus. And once again, he uses a reference to the Old Testament. And we have talked about this a couple times because it was in our Lenten readings. That as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, again, the people were grumbling against Moses and against God. And so God punished them by sending serpents, and they were poisonous, and anyone who was bit by one of those serpents died. But then Moses pleaded on behalf of the people, and God relented from his punishment, and so told Moses to mount a bronze serpent on a pole. And if anyone had been bitten, they would be healed if they looked upon that pole. And so now Jesus makes a reference to himself that as he is lifted on the cross, that everyone who sees him and believes in him may have eternal life. No, we have not been bitten by a poisonous serpent. We have been bitten by sin. And then not only have we been bitten, we have also willingly partaken in it. And so we look to the cross, the cross which is our great hope, the cross which brings us authentic life and heals us of our wounds. Just remember that ending of today's gospel. It's something for us to meditate on today if we have an opportunity. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. That's what God desires for us, eternal life. May the Lord take away our lukewarm belief and put us on fire with the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us place our needs before God. We pray today for the church throughout the world that she may proclaim the resurrection of Christ with boldness and courage. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of nations, that they will lead and guide us to the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our own nation. May we be a people who are dedicated to human life. From the very moment of conception until natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for our parish community that we may bear witness to the resurrection of Jesus 
by the way we live our lives. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and the suffering, for all who ask for our prayers, for those who we promise to pray for. May they know the healing touch of our Savior. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be welcomed into heaven. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all your needs and intentions that we bring to the altar today, in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them if they are in your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, where the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other that sign, a wave of God's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter his glory. Alleluia. And let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament, and I love you above all things, and I, I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come, 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to, thanks be to God. Alleluia. <coughs> Excuse me. Alleluia, not as orphans are we left in sorrow now. Alleluia, he is near us. Faith believes nor questions how. Though the cloud from sight received him, when the forty days were old, shall our hearts forget his promise?